welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're having a lovely day today's video i'm in london me and jess you will have just seen us travel all the way here we started at bristol parkway and traveled to paddington then got the tube from paddington to st pancras and then the train from pancras to stratford so we're not staying in central london we're staying on the outskirts kind of near the olympic park and we've just come here because it's our anniversary today we have been together for four years today which i can't quite believe to be honest don't know how i've put up with him and yeah we're literally staying in the most beautiful hotel and i just wanted to give you guys a room tour and show you what it's like because i haven't ever stayed in a hotel room this like chef's kiss before so i'm going to show you that we're not really getting up to much to be honest it's not going to be like a wild vlog here's the train station here's our hotel and here is westfield um stratford center which is a huge shopping center we're literally all three next to each other you can literally stand in this one little square and see all three entrances to all of them so we're pretty much going to spend our time like between here and westfield center basically we've just come away for like a little break to relax and maybe do a bit of shopping i don't know about restaurants locally we're mainly just going to make the most of the eat out to help out and we're going to go to the westfield center for that because they have so many restaurants there first of all i'm going to show you the room then we're going to freshen up because we've been traveling for about two to three hours then we'll maybe pop out and grab some food and have a walk around the shops here's the door you come in through here here's what you see <laughs> he doesn't come with the room don't sit there with a smile on your face get up you're making the bed look messy oh look at that crease in jets awful so we've got this lovely bed it was very pristine before we came in um just a little side table. You're going to all the places that I want to show. That's the whole point. You're not part of the room tour. Just stand behind me like a little shadow as I walk around the room. Right, so you come in, you've got the lovely bed, you have little side tables, everything is controlled by an iPad, so I don't it's not focusing very well. Everything's controlled here, so you can order room service on here. The little dock, is that like a charging station? Yeah, I don't... It's a charging. Oh wow. So that's my side. Cute little mirror up here. Again, Jesse getting in the shop. Two cute little, I'm just describing everything as cute. Two little armchairs here. And then our view isn't really of anything, but it looks into this little square. And there's this big like art sculpture here like this. Oh my God, it's got water inside, Jess. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't. Wow. Wow. TV, desk, coffee, wine. Not that we'll have any coffee, tea. Mmm, lovely, lovely, lovely coat rack, some weird futuristic coat rack. And then in the cupboards, we've got little snacks here. And then we've got robe and a hoodie, because I think this is for like, I don't really know what it's for. Here you've got a little safe, you've got a little mini fridge, and like you can find out the prices of everything like on the little thing. Laundry, oh that doesn't sound healthy. Hair dryer, very, very nice. And then the bathroom is stunning. So it's a little, oh, slide across door. You come in and everything is literal marble. I think it's like actual marble as well. Very Scandinavian vibes. Everything is very minimalistic, natural materials. And then you have this little mirror station here just above the sink. And then you have this big one here above the toilet. And then, oh, lovely black showers. And the stuff is Ren, which is a very nice brand as well. So we've got Ren body wash and all that jazz. Very happy to be here. Yeah, I'm just super chuffed with this hotel. I think it is so nice. I can't wait to spend the night in this amazing comfy bed. And I think that the hotel is reasonable in price as well for a five, it's literally a five star hotel in London, but just outskirts of London, very reasonably priced. And I think that it only opened last year and there's lovely like terrace bars here and all sorts. So we're gonna go check them out as well. And yeah, very happy to be here. Right, it probably looks like I haven't changed. That's because I haven't. We're about to head out. Um, I just tried on the outfits that I brought with me and I don't really like anything. So we're going with joggers and a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. We're gonna head out. Got my mask, got your mask. Yeah, yes. we're gonna yes. go shopping. <laughs> Let's go. Why did you say that? 
Because it's what we always say. <laughs> I literally wasn't kidding. Look, here's our hotel. And here's Westfield. And it's literally going to take me 30 seconds. It takes me long to walk downstairs in my own house. Actually, no, it doesn't. Flexing that you got <laughs> Yeah, it sounded like I was, but no, I really didn't. Hey guys, I realise I haven't vlogged in a few hours. Uh, we went to Westfield today and very, very busy, extremely hectic. I had a few meltdowns and my hips were really hurting from walking around. And it gets very, very hot in your mask very quickly. Back at the hotel, been back for a few hours, just got freshened up and gonna go and have some food actually in the hotel instead of over at Westfield because it looks really nice here and they're also doing eat out to help out so we're just gonna get some basic pizzas and I'll show you what we get. <laughs> so we're in the gorgeous hotel look at this maybe have a fire and everything here are the stunning pizzas cheers mum for the money my, my gorgeous day <laughs> Wow, he actually made a TikTok reference. Well done. Um, yeah, we're gonna dig in. Let's go see and watch the driver. We've ordered um, Deliveroo. We decided that pizza wasn't enough, and now I have got a waffle and a milkshake come in because, in true Daisy style, I mean, I have to have a dessert. This, this hurt. This hurt. I have to have a dessert. I am so excited to sleep in this bed tonight. Honestly. Get under this cut co these covers and it's gonna be so comfy probably watch um a bit of tv they do have movies to rent here but they're like 10 pound for one for 24 hours it's like that's great but um no thank you i bought my laptop so we'll probably just watch something on there but as we all know uh, me and jess really struggle to pick a film because we have different different tastes shouldn't we? different tastes in films would you say no, you just don't want very good films. The In you your opinion. Watch stuff like the Notebook all the time. We did watch Parasite the other day, and that was amazing. Uh, we actually loved that. I know that everyone is like ranted and raved about it but honestly it is really really good and it's really hard for us to find something that we both like and we both rated it a good nine out of ten. But we'll have to find something to beat that out, which I'm gonna struggle with. I did see a TikTok earlier actually and it was like the best films with massive plot twist endings and obviously like Shutter Island was in there and so was um, The Sixth Sense so like I love those like big twist endings that no one sees coming because it gets me guessing throughout the whole film so I wonder whether we should look at the other examples that they've shown in there also I posted a picture on Instagram of me and Jess tonight and we literally have no photos together like we have such a private life but um, I decided let's put up a picture for our anniversary and he was very nervous that it would be my least liked picture in the history of all my Instagram pics but it's not so thank you guys for the love he's happy Play 26 degrees in this bedroom now. Mm, yummy. Hope you're happy. I am. And yeah, very excited Enjoy. for my waffle. He's on his way. He's on his way. Plan for tomorrow. They have breakfast included in the room right here, but they normally have it in the brasserie, which we were just sat in. So there's a brasserie and a lounge. We were sat in like the lounge, like the more chilled area, but they normally serve breakfast in the brasserie, but because of, you know, current situations and, you know, pandemics and all that relatable they do like a grab and go breakfast basically they put like a little continental breakfast t together for you and they drop it off at your door so we arranged to have that done for about nine o'clock tomorrow i'm happy it'll get me out of bed it'll stop me sleeping in too long and then check out is at 12 so we'll probably literally just chill and make the most of the room have a really relaxed slow morning and then um some of the bits that i bought today i do want to take back to some of the shops because obviously that most change rooms are shut at the moment you can't really find out if you like something until you get home so i thought we'll do a bit of shopping today and then if i don't like stuff i can take it back tomorrow i'm gonna go and do that i'm thinking like with the stuff that i bought i might actually do a separate video just like a mini collective haul of what i got in london because as like i did one purchase i was like i'll just chuck it in at the end of this vlog and then as i did the second third fourth i was a bit like hmm this is building up to be too lengthy for a vlog segment so let's 
make a second vid out of it. I just feel like I'm yapping on, but I haven't done a good vlog in a while that's actually got like stuff to show you. Even though I'm still bad at showing you, I feel like I was just getting used to vlogging and like confident with vlogging in public and stuff. Not confident, but like I didn't care what people, like if people were looking and stuff. Ever since the pandemic happened and like now life is going back to normal, I feel like because people are so aware of their surroundings that like, as soon as I whip out the camera, people notice and I'm like, ee, ee. but I'm powering through guys. Um, I'm slowly creeping back up to where I was. Just know when you see all the clips and I'm sat somewhere where other people are around, it's for you. It's for you. I wanted to talk about this for a while. This is gonna be so random. So I've had these trainers for a year in September. I have never worn a pair of trainers as much as I have worn these. I cannot explain to you guys, honestly. So these are the nike m2k technos they were 90 pounds when i bought them and they're like an off-white color um kind of like a cream with white and gray and then it's like bright orange back i cannot explain to you guys how these go with every single outfit i put on my body they just do they are the perfect amount of chunk without being too chunky or not chunky enough the perfect amount of chunk in a trainer and they go with absolutely everything joggers baggy jeans leggings cycling shorts and they just make your legs look so flattering i don't know what it is but the i can't let go of these trainers i keep saying to jess can't keep posting outfit pics and showing my outfits and just wear the same pair of trainers all the time people are going to be sick of me and expect something new but it's like i love them so much like i genuinely don't know how another pair of trainers is going to compare to these until I eventually get a pair of triple S's because that is the ultimate goal. But these, I love you. You are just, I would kiss it, but you know, it's been so many places. I know there's such a random rant, but I just thought I'd let you know. Oh, it's here guys, it's here. So I've got an Oreo milkshake, stick that there. Oh, look at that. So uh, you've got no fork either, you've got a knife and no fork. Oh, no, 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 no. oh god, don't scare me like that. So it's a waffle with strawberries, bananas and white chocolate sauce and white chocolate shavings. Sorry, don't know if you heard that because Jessie was busy crumpling the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Probably gonna chill out for the night, watch a good film and then I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Bye. Morning everyone, I'm looking particularly fresh. I've just jumped out of the shower, just put my skincare on and I'm about to get ready for the day. Had the most amazing sleep last night, honestly, this bed was unreal it was like sleeping on a cloud like honestly best night's sleep i and we yeah, have had okay. in ages so it was just so welcome it's currently quarter past 11 and we have check out at 12 so i'm getting ready as quickly as possible and then we're gonna pop over to westfield take some of the stuff back maybe have some lunch. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit more quiet because it's the middle of the day. Whereas last night, obviously it's Monday, it's eat out to help out and obviously it's a busy center as it is. So I think that it was probably a lot busier yesterday when we went at like four or five o'clock than it is usually. So. so basically, if you need anything, you order it off the iPad. So like last night when we got here, I realized I completely forgotten to bring my toothbrush and I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna go have to go out and buy one and buy some toothpaste. Um, but no, you can just like order the little kits that you need. There's like shaving kits, um, cotton pads, blah, blah, blah. And then Jess has just ordered the ironing board and iron to come upstairs. And like they deliver it so quickly as well. It's just like such an easy service because it means it's not taking up space in the room by providing it all already. But if you need it, it's there. So right, I'm going to get ready real quick. I'll show you what I'm wearing when I have picked an outfit. Then we'll head off and I'll bring you with me for the rest of the day. Okay guys, this is the outfit I've settled on today. It's a bit mishmashed, but we're just going to go with it. I don't have much time to faff around anyway. So um, I managed to get my hands on the baby blue Zara bodysuit yesterday in my size finally. So I'm wearing that and I've got my flared um, boyfriend jeans on from, I think they're from Rebellious Fashion. Um, I need to get some more of these, not necessarily from there, but just in general because I wear these so so much. It's a bit chilly and I only brought one jacket with me. It's a new leather jacket but I don't know if I'm decided on it yet or not so I don't want to wear it. Um, so I've got this shirt and I've just kind of chucked it over the top and tucked it in. I don't know how I'm feeling about it but you know a bit different. We're gonna go out anyway. We literally have five minutes till we've got to check out so I'm gonna peace out. We are literally getting the train 
back home and like starting our journey back home again in about hour, hour and a half. So I won't have an awful lot to show you, but I will show you what I can. We're heading into Westfield um, and we can already tell it's like so much more quiet than it previously was. Like just everything is a lot calmer already just going in. So we should be able to have a much easier, calmer, nicer time today. So we might be able to get my camera out a little bit as well. Hey guys, it's quite windy so I don't know how well you can hear me, but just finished doing my returns, bought something new exciting in Zara, which I will tell you guys about in the video where I do my little haul. So please make sure that you watch that for exciting little thing for you guys. Just at donut time and um, we're gonna get a box to take home with us. And then we think we're gonna go and grab a Shake Shack. We've literally got like 40 minutes till we need to be back at the hotel getting our stuff so that we can go to get the train. So I think that this should all work out quite nicely. Oh my life, guys. So that donut time, we didn't realize how expensive it was. It's like literally like four pound 50 a donut. Like, so we've come to Shake Shack first and then we'll see like how many we're in the mood for afterwards but i think they might do eat out to help out so it might be slightly cheaper and then we might get a box i don't really know so we're in shake shack now just waiting for our order to show up we only had one once when me and me went to london kind of this time last year almost and i really liked it and it's just nice and quick but we've got a super off peak train going home so i think that the one that we get on is like our last last chance so it's like the 1347 we start traveling back it's currently top five so yeah we're in a bit of a push to finish up our food food's ready now just as it should picking it up i'll show you what we got two coke zero i got the shack burger with no tomato because and jess just got the normal shack burger and we've got crinkle fries each, which are insane. To try and get a quick picture over yeah, here. We don't have time to mess around. I then. win. It'll be like a yeah, quick, quick, quick snap one snap. Time pose. Uh, I like it. I'm a pro at this, guys. I have to do things quickly on his time. I think I showed the hotel already, but it is huge. So those little dips, so it's like lofts up here. So these are actual apartments, and then some of it's hotel, and there's like a bar here, oh, mate, if you a bar the top, there. This is so windy with the clouds moving. It literally, this trippy. is so trippy. Like when I'm looking at this in real time, but it I is stunning. Tell me as well about last night when we were watching TV. What? The celebs go dating. Oh my god! Yeah, we were watching celebs go dating last night. Celebs go virtual dating. They've been filming like during lockdown, and this is where they came for their mega date. We were. We were sat in the hotel room watching them come to the hotel and have their date. It was the weirdest thing. I was about to get in the shower and Jess literally shouts at me and he's like, Daze, come here. And I was like, what? So now yeah, they were on the TV in the literal like bar that we were sat in last night having our dinner. How strange. Um, right, I'm gonna get a quick picture and yeah, we'll show you the donuts maybe on the train once I'm a bit chilled out because I'll probably be in a bit of a rush. On the main train. Everywhere. Yeah, on the main train. Melons in Spain. Rainforest mainly on the plane. Welcome aboard this Great Western Railway service to Swansea. Okay, um, yes. We'll be calling at Reading, Swindon, Bristol Park. So yeah, um, we've already done the Stratford to St. Pancras and the Tube. Now we're on the last one from London Paddington back to Bristol. So just going to chill. We have a good hour. So I'm going to try and get as much footage uploaded and edited as possible. Let me show you 
we've been doing it so we got this one. So this is the box we went for. We can open it gently because I know this one's dying to have one. Oh no, this one's fallen off a little bit. They've been through the walls because they've been travelling around with us. Mm. But so we've got this is called 99 Problems. Uh, Bella Twix Lestrange. Apple Crumbie and Fitch or something like that. Apple Crumble. Apple Crumble and Fitch. And this one is Ice Ice Baby. As you can see, they look absolutely delightful. And they smell insane, even through this mask. So I can't wait to tuck in. But I'm going to go ahead and edit the vlog. So I'm going to conclude it here. I hope you've enjoyed my little trip to London. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to, even though it wasn't an awful lot. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the button red to